everyone, and what an inspiring evening. I stand here tonight on behalf of more than 30,000 Swarovski employees in 170 countries who are incredibly proud to align with the CFDA. Look around this room. This is an extraordinary room to be in. Tonight marks the 16th consecutive year that Swarovski has partnered with the CFDA on this award and its impact is never lost on me. This is my favorite event of the year because this evening brings together artists, pioneers, innovators, and risk takers who build thriving businesses and transform culture from a single piece of fabric. Together, we are all instruments of positive and powerful change, not just for the runway, but for the planet. Swarovski has a long history of philanthropy. It's woven in our DNA. And it's with that spirit that we wanted to celebrate this industry's propensity for giving back. The Swarovski Award for Positive Change was created because positive change is the pinnacle of excellent design. You feel the ripples long after the trends or the seasons have passed. There was only one person who came to mind as the first recipient of this award, Kenneth Cole. He's a fashion designer who understands that, as he says, Business and philanthropy are interdependent. Congratulations, Kenneth, and thank you for all you do. We love you. And now, this beautiful evening comes to life each year because of two special people who continue to inspire me, and I believe all of us, Dion and Steven. Thank you both for your commitment to nurturing emerging talent while propelling the future of the American fashion industry. This year, we are evolving the emerging talent categories into one unified Swarovski Award for emerging talent. We did so because we recognize that many emerging designers are no longer limiting themselves to just one category, but pushing the boundaries across multiple ones. We're identifying visionaries of tomorrow tonight. And to present this award, we wanted somebody who is multifaceted, fashionable, smart, confident, passionate, and immensely talented. In other words, we needed a true gladiator. Ladies and gentlemen, Carrie Washington. <laughs> Young designers require determination and persistence to get their work out there for the world to see. They set the trends and create excitement with their bold new ideas. There is nothing more thrilling than the discovery of talent, particularly in fashion. Seeing the world dressed through a new set of eyes keeps us all original, innovative, and moving forward. And the Swarovski Award for Emerging Talent is Laura Kim and Fernando Garcia Monse. <laughs> my notes in my iPhone. <laughs> so we were really not expecting to win tonight. So <laughs> are you prepared? Not for at all. Speech? I'm a little drunk. So. <laughs> <laughs> First, I have to thank my team, my Monsi team, um, who's here with me tonight. Um, Renee Prince Philip, who we met at Oscar. Our she muse. was my our demons buyer. She gave us such a hard time, so we asked her, can we start our own company? She said no. <laughs> <laughs> but she's our CEO today. She loves it. Yeah. <laughs> and um, 
our boss, Alex Bowen from Oscar de la Renta, who's been so supportive of us. Yes. And helping us grow Monse every day. And I think we shouldn't forget um, the main people who brought us here is our parents, who from day one supported us and funded our brand from the very beginning. And we're very lucky that we have such supportive staff. They work for us for free. Staff, <laughs> basically. So um, thank you to Brooke and to Nick and to Kate and to Michaela and to Aaron and to everybody that helped us from the very beginning when we were nobody and had nothing to show but a couple of sketches. Um, this one, too, also knows. <laughs> A couple of sketches came her way. So thank you very much. We're very thankful, and we hope to keep everybody here proud. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>